During the height of the Cold War, the United States began its largest underground construction project, Cheyenne Mountain. In conjunction with Canada, the bilateral agreement gave NORAD the green light to build the superstructure in the front range of the Rocky Mountains. Construction was finished shortly before the Cuban Missile Crisis, and the need for Cheyenne Mountain became glaringly apparent. On April 20, 1966, Cheyenne Mountain went online and began protecting North America's skies and ensuring nuclear deterrence around the clock. Its granite mountainous exterior leads to a long tunnel system designed to redirect a nuclear blast shockwave perpendicular to the blast doors of the complex. Two sets of 25-ton blast doors lock the complex up tight, and during the Cold War, these doors had to be cycled, meaning one door always had to be closed. Despite these doors being 50 years old, they are so well hinged that two security forces airmen can fully close and lock the doors in under a minute. The building itself houses a multitude of creature comforts and basically operates like a small city. This ensures the people working inside have access to things they may need should the doors have to close. The original design of the building was for NORAD to watch the skies and maintain national defense, and that specific mission still exists, but at a reduced rate from its Cold War presence. The complex has changed since the Cold War. Threats now are more than just missiles and bombs, and despite the change in mission, the facility is still at maximum occupancy. Many agencies and specialized units have taken up residence inside the complex because it offers protection from a new age threat, electromagnetic pulse. Think about how connected a world has become thanks to electronics. Unfortunately, those are susceptible to EMP. From ISR to records data, the EMP protection afforded by the facility ensures they maintain full integrity. For 50 years, this facility has had the watch, guarding the safety of our country and North America. And while it may seem old, it's still proving it's a valuable asset to guard and maintain our national defense well into the future.